Just a quick view update on the cucumber patch that's still kind of going here. It's dying back. It's basically dying mainly not because of the conditions or the weather in the greenhouse. What's really killing it now is the powdery mildew. There is absolutely no way to defend yourself against powdery mildew. Once you see it on the plant, it's pretty much an epidemic from that day forwards. Even if it's one spot you see, that means the entire structure of that plant is completely covered in powdery mildew. Okay, so this is powdery mildew. What do I do about it? There's really nothing you can do about it. You can't treat it. You can sit here all day and spray these things. It'll be right back again. And as soon as you remove all these leaves, if I spent all the time to cut all these leaves out of here, as soon as I remove those leaves, all the leaves that aren't infected will suddenly, it'll, it's like you spread it 10 times worse. My experience tells me after having to combat this plague for many years, the best way to deal with it is, number one, crop rotation. That's the first thing you want to do, but that's not that effective. No matter where you put it on your property, it's going to get infected with powdery mildew because powdery mildew comes in by the plume. It's in the air. So there's really no way to defend yourself against this stuff. It's Most of the farmers around here pretty much stop growing anything in the cucubits. They're pretty much done with it. You don't really see a lot of people do it because the area is so pandemic with powdery and downy mildew that nobody wants to deal with it no more. There's no way to control it. It's that bad up in this area. Actually, we have forecasts for powdery mildew and downy mildew forecasts for Pennsylvania. Sometimes you can catch it. They post it and you'll see like the map of where the plumes are and everything. So... It's game over once you see this. There's just no combating this. I've done everything humanly possible. I've also spoke to many other people who've tried everything, including farmers, and they basically say there's not much you can do when it comes in. It's pretty much just rip everything out right away. That's what most people sell you to do. Don't even leave it and let it... For me, it doesn't matter. It just comes anyway. There's no... I'm, I'm more interested in the study and biology and the uh, life cycle of, of this disease, and I'm still trying to figure out a natural way for it to run its cycle out without becoming more of an epidemic, all right? So, yeah, I just wanted to show you the powdery mildew on the, the plants. Like I say, my experience is when you basically see this, even if you see it on one spot and one leaf and you rip that leaf off, that doesn't mean nothing. That means your entire thing is covered. You just don't see it yet. This is the end stage of the powdery mildew. When you see it like this, this has already gone into spore mode and it's pretty much it. So I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to let it die out until I'm ready to actually just remove all the plants. And that, this is a real mess to remove all this stuff. I normally don't like to remove it until the spring because i got to wear gloves to remove this. This stuff has got thorns and spikes all over it. So it, it's not something I run in here and do right away. I just leave it, let it die out, and then in the spring, I just remove it then. But yeah, I'm going to do another cucumber harvest. Maybe I'll just show you guys really quick before I do the harvest. You know, you can see there's dozens of these what are they called? Uh, apple Richmonds or something, and the lemon cucumbers. I mean, these things are unbelievable. I mean, they're, they're, they're still throwing out cucumbers. That's one of the reasons why I don't want to rip it out. It's just cucumbers coming out of it still. Here's another Punta Cria. There's a nice big Punta Cria down there. And, you know, you could see there's just all the way down there. You can see some more uh, lemon cucumbers, another Punta Cria over here. The Secum cucumber is pretty much died off i don't have any more of that and pretty much all the other varieties of cucumbers died off before i can actually get them on film so they're dead and gone just left with the apple richmonds and the lemon cucumbers and the puna creas which i think that plant is almost dead too to that puna crea it, it like here well it's still going it's, it's still got something going on here so i don't know might throw out a few more guys those those puna Korea cucumbers are so big i can't even eat those whole things i eat a little bit of it and i end up just getting rid of the rest of it i i, I just don't cucumbers ain't like my my big thing i mean i eat them but i don't know i, I just 
I'm not like crazy about uh, cucumbers. They're they're okay. I mean, I don't really need to eat them, but I grow them anyway for the fun of it and everything. And if if I get enough of them, like this year, I got a good amount of them. I could have put them out on the table, and I'm sure they would have sold. They usually do. Uh, what do we got? See, we some of these cucumbers kind of really took on some weird shapes as well as color, which isn't normal. I'm sure some of these had crossed over. Like this, I think, is a, or was supposed to be either a yellow, some kind of a yellow variety of cucumber that died back early. And another apple there. Here's one, though. Look at this thing. This one's really weird. This one's growing like a pumpkin. Look at this thing. This is a cucumber. So it's very possible that it could have crossed over and became a pumpkin or some kind of a gourd or something like that. Here's another one of the uh, cecum cucumbers but this plant died you can see the whole stem on it's dead and everything that's the last of the cecums uh, i probably got about four or five cecums this year that's really low for the cecum i normally get a lot lot more than that but yeah this was the uh right here that was the um the mexican gherkin or something it's called i just completely forgot that vine was even in there i put it all the way in the back and it pretty much never really went anywhere. I don't know if I can bring that in for the winter. I might if it stays alive. Just let it grow throughout the winter. And then in the spring, I'll bring it back out and plant it in the garden somewhere. Rather than trying to start it from seed. Uh, I could do it either way. It doesn't matter. That's just a quick look at the cucumbers. I figured I'd show you this because I don't know. I may even take some of this green stuff down. A lot of it's still growing and doing good, you know. Like this part here is all covered it in downy mildew I, i'm powdery mildew i mean you can see it's just covered in powdery mildew and then going back towards the front of it it's pretty much nice and clear so it didn't spread that way yet so i want to wait until it just like completely uh spreads and then i'm gonna just pretty much take it down i still got cucumbers coming out i don't want to take them out you know there's some back there Got another one over here coming out. So I'll let it finish its cycle and uh, do its thing. I got to do an update too on this thing here. I keep meaning to get an update done. Maybe I'll do that now. Naranjillo. You can see it's got the berries on it. I don't know if I'm gonna that plant's going to make it to the end of the year before I get some ripe ones. I'm not bringing that in the house. I tell you that right now. That's not coming in with me. So... If it doesn't make it this year, I don't know. I have to figure something out for next year or something. Yeah, that was it. That's just a quick look at the cucumber harvest. Maybe I'll take a couple of shots after the harvest, and I'll include that at the end of the video. I don't really have enough different varieties, really, for me to put a collage together and make a little video out of it. So I'll just maybe include a couple of harvest shots and just give you an idea of the amount that actually came out of this plant cluster at the end of the year all right so thanks for watching and i will see you on the next one